Hey, in this video, we're going to answer what is a sidechain in crypto and how it benefits the blockchain and crypto ecosystem. Remember the town and road analogy I used to describe the crypto scalability technology in my previous videos? This also works for understanding sidechains in crypto. Imagine a town with only one road for all of its traffic. This road is like the blockchain, a revolutionary technology that powers cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, as the city grows, so does the traffic, leading to jams that slow everyone down. In the world of blockchain, this traffic represents transactions and smart contracts, bustling to get from one place to another. But here's the twist. As the blockchain gets busier, transactions take longer to process, and fees start to skyrocket. It's like waiting in line for hours just to pass through a toll booth. This is where the concepts of sidechains and crypto scalability come into play. It's all about expanding our blockchain road to accommodate more traffic, making transactions faster and cheaper without compromising on security. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we will discuss the definition of sidechains in crypto, the historical background behind the technology, its main benefits, the security considerations, some popular sidechain projects, and possible future trends in sidechain development. Ready? Let's get started! Let me first address the fact that we'll be touching on some more advanced crypto and blockchain concepts. So, if you want to learn the basics first, head over to my channel, where I have videos covering essential topics about crypto. That being said, let's answer what is a sidechain in crypto. Earlier, I used the analogy of a congested highway to describe popular blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, imagine alongside this bustling highway, there are specialized local roads designed to alleviate traffic. This is basically how sidechains work in crypto. They act as a side road that is connected to the highway at certain points through mechanisms called two-way pegs, allowing cars, or in this case, transactions and smart contracts, to enter and exit the side road easily. The main advantage of this side road is that it's not as crowded, so you can get to your destination faster and for less money. Plus, the side road might have different rules and options than the main highway. For example, it might let in vehicles that can't use the main road, or have speed limits that are better for other types of vehicles. Let's put it into a slightly more technical scenario. Imagine you're playing a blockchain-based video game that requires you to complete a lot of transactions. If this game were operating directly on the main blockchain, or the highway, it might be slow and expensive to play due to congestion. There are probably a lot of players doing the same thing. But if the game operates on a sidechain, or the side road, it can process transactions more quickly and cheaply, enhancing your user experience. Once you're done playing, you can transfer your game assets back to the main blockchain, just like merging back onto the highway. Simple, right? Technology like sidechains is what we refer to as a blockchain scalability solution. Basically, the technology is intended to improve its base blockchain. And a sidechain is not the only solution out there. When you research sidechains, you are likely to encounter these two terms, layer 2 and rollups. These are types of blockchain scalability solutions, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. But sometimes, people tend to mistake one tech for another due to their similarities. So, let me explain briefly how they differ from each other, using the same analogy I used earlier. I also have two dedicated videos on both rollups as well as blockchain scalability solutions in general. If you want to understand these topics better, I highly recommend checking them out after you finish watching this one. Let's start with sidechains versus layer 2. If sidechains are like local roads running parallel to the main highway, then layer 2 solutions can be thought of as overpasses built directly on top of that highway. These overpasses don't replace the main road, but enhance its capacity, allowing for a more efficient flow of traffic. Therefore, vehicles can enter this new layer, zoom ahead, bypassing the congestion below, and then merge back onto the main highway once they've passed the busiest sections. This setup maintains the security and infrastructure of the main highway while significantly increasing its throughput and reducing congestion. For sidechains versus rollups, I think it is appropriate to picture rollups as private high-speed lanes that exist within the main highway. That's because, unlike sidechains, rollups focus on maximizing transaction throughput and security under the main blockchain's umbrella. Simply put, it's not an entirely new road, but a new lane that uses the main highway's infrastructure. With the differences now clear, let's take a look at some popular projects that use sidechains. Indeed, there are numerous projects that work by improving an existing blockchain, such as the Liquid Network, Polygon, and Rootstock. In the case of the Liquid Network, it is a sidechain to Bitcoin, designed specifically for traders and exchanges. Liquid speeds up Bitcoin transactions while adding an extra layer of privacy that isn't available on the main Bitcoin blockchain. It's like having a VIP lane on the highway where transactions can fly past the usual traffic, ensuring faster settlement times and enhanced confidentiality. Next, there's Rootstock, or RSK for short. 
It's a sidechain that brings the functionality of smart contracts to Bitcoin, effectively turning the Bitcoin network into a more versatile player in the blockchain arena. Rootstock is like adding a new layer of payment on the Bitcoin highway, enabling it to handle not just the standard vehicle traffic, but also allowing for smarter, self-driving cars, or in this case, smart contracts. This innovation expands Bitcoin's utility beyond simple transactions, supporting a wide range of applications and use cases previously only possible on networks like Ethereum. Lastly, we have Polygon, formerly known as Matic. It stands out by providing Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks with the benefits of faster and cheaper transactions. Polygon has become a bustling hub for developers, enabling them to build scalable, user-friendly dApps with the security and interoperability of Ethereum's main chain. Imagine a vast network of roads that not only improves traffic flow, but also connects different cities, making travel more efficient and accessible. But here's a twist. Is Polygon a sidechain? The answer is no, actually. Unlike Liquid and Rootstock, Polygon is better described as a layer 2 scaling solution. Polygon provides a framework for building and connecting Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks. While it processes transactions off the main Ethereum chain, instead of creating a new one, Polygon works on top of the Ethereum blockchain to improve its performance. Based on these projects, it is safe to assume that more will appear in the future. This is because sidechains are very beneficial to the overall blockchain ecosystem. Using scaling solutions, users can slash transaction costs to a fraction, allowing for smoother and more economical blockchain activities. Sidechains also improve blockchain capability, providing strong support beams that allow the main chain to keep growing without the weight of excessive transactions. They offer a creative playground where developers can experiment with new features and applications without risking the main network stability. Imagine a digital test kitchen where chefs can try out bold new recipes before serving them to the customers, ensuring everything is perfect. Moreover, sidechains enhance privacy, offering a cloak of invisibility for transactions that require discretion. It's like sending messages with a self-destruct feature. The information gets where it needs to go without leaving a trace. Okay, so at this point, we've already answered what is a sidechain in crypto, looked at some popular sidechain projects, and explored the main benefits of this technology. Now, I want to show you some things to consider about sidechains, especially security-wise. Because when it comes to discoveries, it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. While sidechains unlock incredible potential for crypto scalability and innovation, they also introduce new security considerations. Each sidechain operates under its own set of rules and consensus mechanisms, which means it also bears the responsibility for its own security. This decentralization of security can be a double-edged sword. Imagine each sidechain as a separate vault within a bank. While it's great for organizing different assets, if one vault locker is weaker, it becomes a prime target for robbers. The main chain might be Fort Knox, but a sidechain could have vulnerabilities that risk not just its own integrity, but also potentially affect the perception of security across the entire ecosystem. Additionally, the two-way peg mechanism, our bridge between the main chain and sidechains, needs to be tightly secured. Any weakness here could be exploited to move assets illegitimately, akin to having a secure door, but leaving the key under the mat. Basically, while sidechains are a brilliant solution to blockchain's growing pains, they need a heightened level of vigilance and innovation in security measures. Ensuring these innovative pathways are as secure as the main road is paramount to maintaining trust and functionality in the blockchain universe. Another thing worth mentioning is the possible trends in the future sidechain development. As you probably know, Web3 technology is very dynamic, and it is very possible that we can see more improvement to sidechains in particular sooner than later. First, we can expect smarter sidechains that incorporate AI technology. Picture an advanced sidechain that not only speeds up transactions, but also thinks ahead, predicting and managing the blockchain's traffic flow. It's as if your digital assets have their very own traffic control system, ensuring they zip around without any hiccups. Next, future sidechains can promote cross-compatibility between different blockchains. To put this in simpler words, sidechains can act like bridges between isolated blockchain islands. This means smoother transitions for your assets across various blockchains, making the crypto world a lot smaller and your digital wallet a lot more versatile. And last but not least, there is an ongoing discussion on the environmental impact of blockchains and how to overcome it. Projects like Cardano and Algorand are already in the process of tackling the environmental issue of blockchain tech, implementing proof-of-stake mechanisms that significantly reduce the energy consumption associated with mining activities. Imagine sidechains that do their job without leaving a carbon footprint, thanks to eco-friendly consensus mechanisms. It's like electric cars for your crypto, offering a cleaner, more sustainable way to move your digital assets around. And there you have it. Hopefully, with this video, I've answered the questions of what is a sidechain in crypto and how do sidechains work. It is a very beneficial improvement to blockchain technology, allowing you to transfer and receive assets more efficiently. Are there any topics or concepts in the video you want me to discuss in more detail? 
Leave your suggestion in the comment section below, and I may make a video about it. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more crypto content. Bye for now, and I'll see you in my next video.